Welcome back to the Value Investors Club, VIC readings. Let's get right into it. Admiral Group, PLC, AMIGY. Filed in on September 8th, 8th um, by PRA, PAR03. Description Admiral is the largest auto insurance company in the UK with 14% market share. I'm recommending it as a long. Think of Admiral as the Geico of the UK. They operate a direct-to-consumer business model, which, combined with cost-focused culture, gives them a cost advantage over competitors. This cost advantage allows them to both first generate high profits and second gain market share over time. For an insurance company, they operate a capital light model, reinsuring the majority of the premiums under favorable terms that allow Ca Admiral to keep a favorable share of the profits per policy. They then uh, dividend out the majority of profit profits each year to shareholders. For years, they've uh, tried to expand into other geographies be beside the UK, but those efforts have, haven't been terribly successful. Essentially, all of Admir Admiral's profits continue to come from UK motor policies. But they've been so good in the core UK motor business that they have been in a component I'm sorry, a compounder historically. Admiral year over year growth in UK motor policies. Um 10%, 15%, 35%. Uh, okay, like I would say an average of 10% a year. 10% a year. Um Admiral LTM ROE, uh, average, I'd say, of about 60. Admiral LTM EPS um, is rising, started at under 50 cents, is now, now had a hard decline and is now uh, slightly above $1, like $1.20, $1.30, um, but was at more than uh, $2, $2.20 around. Admiral, uh, long-term uh, book value per share growth and dividend return is now negative at minus 25. And, but the average, I'd say, from site is at round about 20, slightly above 20, maybe 25%. Admiral totally returns in US dollars. Uh, uh huh. Really variable. Like, two thousand eight was negative. Two thousand eleven was negative. Two thousand sixteen was negative, although slightly. Um, the other years positive, but some. Like two thousand six had one hundred eighty six percent. Uh, but others had just two percent. Okay. High variance. Uh, I think now is an especially especially good time to own Admiral. Admiral's stock price has underperformed this year, uh, this year as some of Admiral's competitors have posted disappointing underwriting results and cut guidance. The culprit is claims inflation that is impacting margins. Admiral is not immune to the pressure on claim costs, as you can see from the same see from the sum of uh, the charts above. Their RE and EPS over the long term uh, period, over the LTM period ending uh, 30th of June 2022 is running below trend. But I don't see any reason why this won't ultimately end up being a temporary issue as the classic insurance cycle runs its course. Combined ratios worsen. Insurance raises prices um, combined ratios improve. Issuer, insurers don't raise prices enough. Combined ratios worsen, worsen etc., etc. In, in the meantime, while that cycle plays out, one can buy Admiral at a lower than usual price. P2B currently is uh, under 6x versus 8x average. Market cap per UK motor policy currently $1,300 versus $1,500 average. For the insurance cycle plays out, as the insurance cycle plays out, and as forward estimates for Admiral return to normalized levels of profitability, my guess is that Admiral's valuation will return to historical average levels. 
Meanwhile, as we wait for that to happen, Admiral will likely continue to gain share, grow book value per share, and pay out meaningful dividends. I do not hold a position with the issuers such as employment, directorship, or consultancy. I and or others I advise on the material investment in the issue of security. Catalyst. Number one, insurance cycle plays out. Admiral, Admiral returns to normalized levels of profitability. Valuation multiple, multiples revert to prior levels. Second, Admiral continues to gain share, grow book value per share, and pay out meaningful dividends. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time.